This Mother's Day, these women are going on hunger strike outside Parliament. They'll be without food for up to a week to protest, amongst other things, the pressures draining household budgets. I'm a single mother myself. Um, I have been cutting down lately just because it is the, the, the weekly budget is, is going out of proportions. The cost of living crisis and the poverty that we're experiencing in this country, it's a political choice, you know, it doesn't have to be like that. Amid a gloomy economic backdrop, the Chancellor's budget, which he billed as a tax giveaway, retained tax threshold freezes. In reality, that means more people dragged into higher tax bans to the tune of £41 billion. But it did use that money in part to cut national insurance contributions further to eight pence in every pound. We can now help families not just with temporary cost of living support, but with permanent cuts in taxation. The very next day, he and the PM floated the idea of scrapping national insurance altogether. At a pub in Rotherham, Rishi Sunak described it as a tax on working people. It's unfair because you're paying tax not once but twice, and my ultimate ambition is to remove that unfairness entirely. It's an unfunded policy that could blow more than a £40 billion hole in public finances. That is more than the unfunded tax uh, uh, plans that Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng set out in their mini-budget. Uh, so the government need to be honest. Either there, there is a plan and they need to set out what that plan is, or there isn't, in which case they need to stop talking about it. But they can't have it both ways. Although some of his ministers described it as a long-term aspiration as opposed to a pledge, today the Prime Minister floated plans to squeeze the benefits budget in the Sunday Times, with an emphasis on getting working-age claimants back into work. The Prime Minister says that what his aspiration was, but he hasn't said how. Is it your plan to make it tougher for people to claim that benefit? Well, we want to, I as Health Secretary, I'm looking into how we can uh, change the conversation from getting a sick note to getting a fit note. The government has refused to rule out another fiscal event before the next general election, expected later this year. This national insurance proposal, perhaps then a pre-election bauble dangled at working people. One that, if it's more than an aspiration, would require some serious thrift elsewhere.